Here we are at the site of the famous rockfall on Monaghan's Bluff on the bridle track. Uh, this is probably the reason this track is well known nowadays, uh, but it wasn't always the case. Uh, this track began its life in the mid 1800s as a horse track um, and the reason it's called the bridle track comes from the fact that it actually was so narrow that they had to lead the horse through single file by the bridle. In more modern times we had this rockfall here which closed the track in 2010 and then 13 years later finally we have a bypass which is up above us actually um, and the track reopened I think in February 2023 so we're able to come out and enjoy it now. But, uh, join us as we uh, take a tour through the bridle track we'll check out basically every single camp um, along the length of it and uh, yeah show you guys what it's all about. Coming down the track in the mid to late 1800s, the scenes would have been very different today. Rather than campgrounds, you would have had mining camps, and Chinese miners in the vegetable garden. It's been 13 years since the rock fall at Monaghan's Bluff closed the track, and here we are in 2023 with a new shiny bypass that snakes its way up the hill and over the pass. So I think I'm gonna write a song with it It's light and calm and sweet and at the same time upbeat I can't think of what to say So I just write it anyway But now This would be perfect if only the verse fit I don't know how I'd mash the two together It's maybe a new tune called Once in a Blue Moon About the chance of finding love But it's already been done There must be a million sad sad stories in Just put your fire out There's no excuse when you're camping literally three meters from the river. To read all the details of our explore up the bridle track, be sure to check out my article at unsealed4x4.com.au.